Welcome back to Daytime here on Rogers TV. I'm Jennifer Robinson. And Simcoe County, and very specifically, has such a historical element within so many of its neighborhoods. And we're about to hear about one aspect that is really interesting, and you're going to want to find out more. There's a new group that gets together every now and again to be able to highlight, discuss, and what it does for our area. We're joined by Mitchell Wilson from the Allen Mill Railway Historical Society. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. Now, you're a friend of the show. You have been here before. Yes. But uh, you... Since the last time you visited, you know, a new uh, group has got mm -hmm. together. You're the president yeah. of it? Yes. Tell us about that. Uh, well, I just I did a lot of research on my own about Allendale and Barry's railway history. And uh, I sort of looked around and saw that while there were a lot of people interested in it, there weren't too many people getting organized and actually doing something about it. So I thought, oh, I'll form a group. And uh, we had our first meeting. Uh, early this month, mm -hmm. and we had about 40 people come out, so that was quite nice. And now we're having, we're going to have a meeting every month. So. Now you're a very young president. Um, yeah. What sort of piqued your interest in uh, in, um, in trains? Well, my gr my father uh, grew up in the 50s, which is the last sort of era of steam railroading in in Canada, and he grew up in Donald, which is north of here. But uh, his uncle, my great uncle, worked for the Canadian National Railway. Mm -hmm. Uh, as a fireman and an engineer and then a conductor and uh, he used to tell me stories about that when I was a kid so we go back to stories yeah. <laughs> um, so I've always sort of been fascinated by that mm -hmm. and the impact it's had on this country well what type of impact has it had and locally specifically well locally specifically um, the first steam railway in Ontario is the uh, line that comes up from Toronto through here to Collingwood mm -hmm. that was uh, it reached Barry slash Allendale in uh, 1853. There was an earlier railway in Ontario, but it was horse pulled. Mm -hmm. And uh, but that was the, this is the first modern railway as we would think of it. And then of course, as far as impact that's had, I mean, right up until the, the 1950s, everything was transported by train. You know, uh, from clothing and food right down to um, movies. They transported the film in big really? canisters. So oh wow! You you really couldn't live. In a, in a sort of modern way without the railway. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, everything went to trucks, but, but for, for about a hundred years, it was the railway. And uh, you have some fantastic artifacts that you yeah. have with you now. This is a great shot, and um, it, it kind of looks like it's from a long time ago, and I guess it well, has when you think of. about it. It's 2011 <laughs> now, but yeah. I mean, this is from 1954, This is from right? 1954. This is given to me by uh, one of our group members who came over here in in the um, the 50s from England and he worked on the railway in England as a fireman in the steam locomotive mm -hmm. and when he came over here he got a job at the Roundhouse which uh, used to be located right by the Seth Shore Center and uh, he, he ran the coaling tower. This is a picture of the Roundhouse and shop crew as a foreman there in the suit. Uh, I believe it's, it's a retirement of someone but they're out in front of a locomotive down in that area. This guy over here, this is a Ivan Clemens, mm -hmm. who's the father of Tim Clemens, who is in our group. And Tim also worked for the railway, and so did his grandfather. So there's really, there's a lot of um, very personal history in this area, as far as people going back it? generations. Yeah, and is that how you come through and find a lot of your artifacts from, you know, from back in the day? Uh, I have had people contact me about things that they would, they would like to uh, see put on display somehow. Um, we don't have the means to do that yet, but... Mm -hmm. Certainly, it's, it's of interest. This item. Why don't you grab that? Yeah, I'll grab that. So, what is it? And this what is, is an it oil from? can. It's, uh, it would have sat in the locomotive cab on a shelf up above the firebox. Mm -hmm. uh, probably dates back to the 1920s. Careful, there's oil all over it. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I might look dainty, but it's yeah. okay if I get messy. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's from the, uh, uh, the 1920s to the 1930s. has the CNR emblazoned on it. Oh, yeah. And the CNR set didn't, wasn't... Uh, didn't exist until 1922, so it's obviously post-1922. Right. Um, yeah, as you can see, there's, there's lots of oil all over and in here, and if you if this this is a bit hard to open, but there is still the dregs of the oil down From in the can. Uh, well, they probably would have stopped using oh, okay. this around 19, 1950, <laughs> late 1950s when the last steam locomotives retired. Now, how did you come by getting this artifact? This one I found at the uh, the Barry Antique Center, oh, wow. which is. In an actually an old industry industrial building used to be serviced by the railway. Okay. Used to be a uh, abattoir. Oh, Interestingly wow. enough, <laughs> wow. there used to be there used to be a siding down beside there, so that's kind of 
there used to be sightings all over that whole area that serviced all the different industries. Yeah. Now, um, because you are the president of this yes. group, um, and you had 40, did you say 40 members About come out 40 to, the, members come to the inaugural yeah. meeting, what I yeah. call it? Yes. And you are going to be meeting every Every month? month. Every month. Uh, so we have meetings up until uh, June at the moment. And then do you take the summer off? <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll have to see how people's schedules are. Right. Well, summer does tend to get a little bit busy. Yes. But is there a membership? Um, what are some of the logistics in becoming a member of the um, Well, we haven't set a, a fee yet, but we will be looking at something. We'll probably have a vote on that at the next meeting. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we meet at uh, Unity Christian High School, which used to be King Edward mm -hmm. Public School. Uh, so if you want to get involved, just come out and... You know, we'll and, talk about it. And, and is it a very casual atmosphere? It's pretty um, casual, Is it yeah. more like, for because I mean, obviously you have people that have family histories involved mm -hmm. with this, but for, you know, the the person that just wants to learn more, is this also welcoming for them? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Anyone can come out as long as you have an interest. Hey, President Mitchell, thanks Thank very you. much. Really appreciate you taking the time. My pleasure. All right, let's see how Glenn's doing with his mechanics. Glenn? Get my food on. <laughs> <laughs> Judy from Foodland, Ontario. There it is. I don't know what I'm